everybody, Jack and Brooke here again this week. Uh, this is going to be a, a really exciting one. We're going to be talking about transferring your data to Jane. So this is for everyone who hasn't joined Jane yet. So we're going to go over the types of files that you can bring in um, and also the actual file types. So if you're bringing in, you know, past appointments, patient lists, we're hoping you're going to get them in Microsoft Excel and CSV. And then for your charts, um, JPEG and PDF will work too. So Brooke is going to take it away and share her screen and go through everything that you can bring into your new Jane account. Awesome. Thank you, Jack. Um, so I just want to share my screen here. So rather than where I normally start, which is our demo site, I'm actually on our website on some of our guides here. So I'll be working from here today for part of our, our um, uh, session here. Uh, but so when you first start uh, and join Jane. So you can import from your previous software. And this is all included in your subscription. We don't charge to import your data. Um, so uh, you don't have to worry about paying anything extra. Um, now, as far as what you can bring over um, here, you know, we've got some great resources on our website. Uh, one of them here is our basics of importing to Jane, which goes over the different information you can bring over. So our patient list and profiles. Uh, so if you're wondering what type of demographics uh, you can bring over, here's the list of all the different demographics. So of course, um, first name, last name, email, phone numbers, date of birth, but some additional information that you can bring over as well. And then your appointments. So if you do have uh, maybe future appointments, past appointments that you want to bring over and have on your schedule in Jane, we can do that as well. And then if you're a clinic that sells products and you're able to provide us with a list of the different products that you sell, uh, we can import those as well. And then charts here too. Uh, so as Jack mentioned, uh, your pretty much everything other than charts would be in an Excel or a CSV file. Um, something actually that's also not on here would be insurance policies. So you can also bring over patient insurance policies again in an Excel or a CSV file. Awesome. And I think a good thing to mention, and I think you, you were saying it earlier on before we started, Brooke, is that we can't go into your past software, right? Um, you are going to have to, uh, hopefully you'll be able to just download it and pass it on to us, or you might have to reach out to your previous provider to get that data given to you. Yeah, that's right. So we're not able to log into your current software, of course, and uh, collect this and get this data uh, on behalf of you. Um, so you would be um, providing us this information. Uh, another really great useful guide is our, where can we imp import from? Um, so here we've got a list of different softwares that we have seen and have imported from. And, you know, just because your current software may not be on this list, that doesn't mean we can't import from them, though. So it just means that we don't know how you collect that information. Um, so some software, you're able to export everything yourself. Uh, some you might just be able to do like your patient list, but your charts, you might need to request a export of that from um, from the company itself. Um, so, you know, if your list, if your current software is on here, you know, perfect. Uh, we've got the steps uh, in that guide on how you provide us that information. Some softwares as well, you're not able to export all of those things that we went over. Some you can export your appointments, some you may not be able to export your charts. So uh, it really can be software or previous uh, program dependent. Yeah. And I think one thing uh, also worth pointing out before we show you where you're going to bring all your data once you get it all is that there's certain stuff that we can't bring in, right? Uh, and one of that is billing information. Yes. So the um, really, no matter wherever you're coming from, we cannot import your billing information. Uh, and that's going to be patient receipts, patient 
um, like a ledger, any account, if somebody has like an account credit or accounts receivable, we are not able to bring this over into Jane. Um, so what we recommend is printing out, you know, like your accounts receivable list, uh, if you've got a credit report, and then once you do switch over to Jane, uh, there's a few ways to manage that. Uh, so for example, if you have patients that have credit from your current software, uh, what you would do is once you've done your import of your patient list, you can manually add in credit memos to reflect what they had um, already on your previous software. So to do that, uh, I'll just quickly go through what that would look like uh, in a patient's billing tab, we would have here credit memos. So here I can add in a new credit memo, I can put in the amount that they had in that previous software, and I might, um, you know, mention it here the reason uh, just so we can keep track of that. Uh, for anybody who uh, owes money, that can be done one of two ways. Um, you can either schedule those appointments in Jane from the past. So if somebody still owed for, let's say, a visit from two months ago, we can go back onto our calendar in Jane, schedule that appointment, arrive it, and generate an invoice. Or another option would be to create a product in Jane for maybe like a whole lump sum that somebody owes and sell a product to them. So two options on how you wanna manage accounts receivables. Yep, and, and I think a good thing to point out is that, you know, the support team is there to help you with this. So of course you're gonna go through the setup wizard and, and get everything sorted, but your, you know, consultations with the team, like dedicated mm -hmm. time for you is free. Um, and we encourage you to book those because it's there for you to use. Um, so you don't have to have to worry about like, oh my goodness, I have to bring in all this data mm -hmm. that I have to do manually, right? And I have to figure that out too. The team mm -hmm. will be able to sit down with you and walk you through so that you feel comfortable to actually. Yeah, absolutely. That. Yeah. <laughs> those are accounts, set up calls, definitely book in for those. Um, uh, so definitely, you know, if you wanted to go over just the import, you know, those those are for you. So whatever topics that anybody wants to go through, you know, that's what that's there for. Awesome. Okay, let's dig into the actual import, uh, Brooke. Let's see yeah. where we drop off all our info once we have it from our previous software. Perfect. So uh, the first step would be to schedule that import. And you can actually do this um, before you have that data um, from your previous software, you could do this right when you sign up with Jane so that maybe you have like a goal date uh, you want to uh, have that ready for. Uh, but to schedule the import here, we have here our settings tab. And at the very bottom, uh, of course, only a full access user or the account owner would be able to do this, I believe. Um, I'm going to select this schedule and import. Uh, so here we'll just go select our begin button and you'll be letting us know what you're bringing over. So for, you know, not bringing over appointments, I wouldn't select that, but you know, anything we're bringing over here, I can go ahead and select it. Uh, and then where it's coming from. So again, just because uh, your software isn't on our list at the very bottom, we can write other and just type in the software you're bringing, uh, you're importing from. And then when you will be uploading this data, so this would be when you're going to um, provide us that information. So we can come here and select a date. And then lastly, where when you are hoping for the import to be completed. Uh, just one thing to note is if you're bringing over charts, especially if you're maybe a larger practice or you've been in practice for many years, charts uh, do they might take an additional business day to complete as they do take a bit more um, time there to, to finish. And then here, so this is to, for who we should contact, um, you know, for this import. So you are in contact with our imports team right directly within your Jane account. Um, so if this is not, I'm logged in as our demo owner. So if this is actually not the person who I need to be reaching out to or our support team needs to be reaching out to during this process, um, right in there, the appropriate person and their contact information uh, information there. Yeah, and then we'll just go ahead and submit this request. Awesome, and, and it, it's very like walk, you know, user friendly, right? It walks you through the entire process. There's no like jumping between screens, which is pretty nice. So yeah, as you can see, it's all, all here for you to upload, right? 
Yeah, yeah. And so then come the day you scheduled. So we selected, I believe it was the 14th, uh, six more days from now. Uh, so come that day, uh, I would head back to our settings. So I'd go back to our settings tab, go back exactly right where we scheduled it. It'll still say schedule and import, but you've already scheduled it. And we would just come back here and upload those files here. So you'd upload your patient list, your products, your appointments, your charts, uh, each file there. And then we do the magic and create those for you. Awesome. I think if you scroll down just a little bit more, you can also see you know if you need to send additional messages to our import team and if they need to send messages to you i believe they'll give you all the updates you need mm -hmm. right there yep. too yep so they'll contact you uh you can contact them so we can write uh, a message to our import team but of course um you can also call us you can also call our support line to chat with a, a support uh, driver okay and i think all right the next thing we're going to look at is jane to jane transfers so maybe you're not coming from a different software or pen and paper, but maybe you're moving from one Jane clinic as a practitioner to another Jane clinic, or maybe you're merging, uh, you know, with another practice and you have both used Jane. And so you're choosing to bring over all your mm -hmm. data to that new Jane account. Um, you yeah. can do that all within your soon to be previous uh, Jane account. So maybe we'll have a look at the Jane to Jane transfer and how you can initiate that for a practitioner or for a practice. Yeah, yeah. So Jane to Jane transfer. Um, so we we have kind of two terms. You have the source account. And so that's going to be the account that you're importing from or you're transferring from. And then um, so to start this process, the source account, uh, I believe they do need to reach out to us to get the transfer, um, the data transfer feature turned on into that account. Uh, that's the only one that needs to have it turned on automatically. The one who's receiving that information, they don't need to reach out to us for having that enabled. It automatically will. Uh, but in our data transfer here, we can go ahead and begin data replication. So you're going to get a big long list of what mm -hmm. you can and can't and who owns, uh, yeah. you know, the data. It's a very fun read. We recommend you definitely read this before you click to the next page. Yeah. It kind of reminds um, me of the Apple's terms of service where it's like <laughs> a new update and it's 10 pages and I'm just like, yes, update. You're, yes. you're going to want to give this one just a quick read, I think. Yeah. So I, it's important to note that this is only transferring charts. So patient list. Um, you know, other information that does need to be done the same way that we just went over. You'd, you'd um, export your patient list in Jane appointments and then upload those to the new account and the charts itself, though, for patients is what we're transferring. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And so here we would just search our staff member who we're transferring complete our information there. Um, security question. So is required. So we just ask um, that you provide this here and then you would go ahead and hit next. Awesome. Perfect. And this is some more of those details that you're gonna wanna read and sign off on before the, the data replication begins, right? Oops, yes. Wow, that, that's a signature. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is now started. So once we've gone ahead and scheduled this, um, the uh, Jane account where this information is going to be sent to the account owner there will receive an email um, letting them know and they just have to review the transfer details sign off on that and then that Jane to Jane transfer is complete. Of course, we have guides going over Jane to Jane transfers. Um, so if you wanted a bit more of a read up on everything, we definitely have um, some guides going over all of that process there for you. Awesome. And another great resource is the Jane community group. So if you pop onto Facebook or 
I believe it's called Meta now. Just search in Jane Community Group. Um, join there, make sure to answer the questions. There's lots of people who've previously uh, asked questions about moving to Jane, have like talked about their previous experience with specific softwares they've been with. So if you want to maybe connect with someone, see how it was for them, or have any other questions that you want to ask someone who's actually gone through the process, that's a great place to go. Definitely. And we just had a webinar on um, switching to Jane. And I believe there's a recording on our website that you can watch or request. It is. And it's also on YouTube. We've started uploading to YouTube. Great. What can I say? We're, we're influencers now. So just search <laughs> Jane app on YouTube and you'll find the channel there.